So in this series of lectures, I'm going to record what I teach on some of my courses um, about the Meyer API. Now, these used to be formal lectures, and now they're just sort of catch-up lectures. So I'm going to record them, upload the video so you can see. Along with this, there's also a GitHub page and some other elements on my website. Um, most of this will be linked in um, to the slides and everything else. And in the video description, I'll, I'll put full details as well. So this lecture is looking at basically the Maya C++ API and how we can write C++ plugins for Maya. I would also touch on some of the principles with the Python API and how that works and other elements around Maya as, as, as well. So the bigger ecosystem around building software and how to get started. So Maya now has both a Python and a C++ API, and we can write plugins in both Python and C++. The Python plugin ability is relatively new. I think it came in in, in Maya 2019 and beyond. So most of what we're doing here in C++ can be converted and translated to Python quite easily. Um, and I will give a few examples here, but I'm going to concentrate on the C++ API in particular. Now, to get this working, there are a series of, of headers and libraries that are shipped with Maya, which allow us to write plugins. And there's also um, a dev kit that you can download, which comes with a series of examples and some uh, documentation. And most importantly, a series of build files um, and tools, which make it easier to set up and build the Maya plugins. Uh, we will concentrate on, on doing this using CMake, although it's possible if you're under Windows to use some Windows stuff um, in Visual Studio to do something similar. But I'm going to be showing this on a Mac. This works on Linux. It will also build um, Windows as well. So at its core, the C++ API uses um, inheritance to extend the basic functionality of Maya. And there's a number of different types of classes that we can use to hook into the, the different areas of the Maya API. And depending upon what we want to do, we'll have to use different elements of it. In this first lecture, I'm going to concentrate on very simple Maya commands. Uh, in the next lecture, we'll look at um, elements of how nodes work in Maya. And then we'll look at some of the more complex um, areas around um, things like accessing the internals of Maya, so using iterators, how we can read and write uh, data using exporters. Um, and I will eventually extend this to add some more functionality as well. Um, I'm gradually writing new bits of code for this. So there must really be a few more lectures as we go along. So the first thing is we need to grab the dev kit. I've got a a link here. I've already got it opened. So the dev kits basically come for the platform. So if you're under Windows, choose the version of Maya you need and the dev kit. Um, as I'm on Mac, I'm using this version here. I'll, I'll be using Maya 2024. Most of this code will work quite happily across um, Maya uh, down to 2020. Um, there are previous versions in the Git history which work with 2019 if you're still using that. Um, there's very little change. Um, what I've noticed recently is that I'm beginning to get a lot of deprecation warnings when I build my code because Maya's beginning to say this is old um, stuff. Start to update your plugins. So I've, I've started to do so with that. The other thing that's useful is this link also has the online help. And if you wish, you can download HTML for offline help as well. And as we'll see, we'll be looking at all of this help as well as we, we sort of get going. Um, so to get started, if you download the correct version that you want, now I've extracted it um, in a folder here. I've just called it my dev kit. And what you'll see in here is that um, it comes with a whole load of include directories and in particular, this is all of the stuff that we will be um, building against for the header files. There's also um, a series of CMake tools, which 
um, when we use CMake, which will make our life easier. And I'll explain how we'll set up the environment for building. Um, within lib, you can see here are all the libraries that we're going to link against for our version of Maya. In particular, it's a lot of the, the custom Qt that Maya uses and obviously all of the Maya dynamic libraries that are used within that. And um, there's a few other bits and pieces that um, will come in useful. If you change into the dev kit folder, what you'll also see is there's a folder called plugins and there's a whole series of example plugins. And if you change into the um, Python folder, you can see there are various API 1 and 2. Again, we'll talk about that later. Examples of the same thing in Python. So you, you, you'll you get into um, a sort of um, experience where all these things are gradually as, as, as you work through this.